welcome. My name's Tony, and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program, and we have an hour together for chair yoga. So allowing yourself to find a chair that's comfortable and stable for you, and a space where you have a little bit of room so we can move around. And from there, we're gonna to come to a comfortable seat. I always encourage people to come away from the back of the chair, even if it's just for a little bit. That way, we're supporting our own spine. If you love the support of the back of the chair, and that feels better for you, then take that. Everything I offer you is simply an option, a suggestion. And that's for you to decide whether it works for your body today or not. There's no wrong way to do any of this. So listen to me a little bit of the time, but most of the time you're listening to yourself and discerning whether it suits you, if you need to adjust or adapt something, or maybe if you want to do something completely different. Let's come to a comfortable seat. Feet at a comfortable distance for you. Feel free to pick up those toes and spread them wide. You can even pick up the balls of the feet if you like. Give those ankles a little wiggle. And then stretch the soles of the feet as if you were waking them up. Taking the balls of the feet down if they weren't already and rooting them into the earth inside and outside edges of the balls of the feet and the heels. You can even press down about 10 or 15% of your energy and feel the muscles of your legs awakening. And then release that pressure and then soften the toes down gently like snowflakes. With that connection down to the earth, simply take a moment and notice the texture underneath your feet or imagine it. And notice that your feet are held there and allow the muscles of your legs to let go and relax so they're not resisting that. We'll take our awareness to our seat where our seat meets the chair. Making any adjustments you need to. Often I say moving from side to side can really help us connect to the um, pelvis underneath us. So the two sitting bones, if you wiggle from side to side, you might notice, depending on the chair you're on, two bony bits. And we'll snuggle down into that, allowing both sides of the pelvis to connect down. Take a breath in when you're ready. And on the exhale, sit the upper body weight into the pelvis. So we, again, release and relax tension and tightness. And then from here, notice where your shoulders are in line to your hips. And maybe the shoulders are a little bit back of your hips and therefore you might notice that you're sitting a little bit to the back of your pelvis. You might be um, forward a little bit, your head more forward of your shoulders, your shoulders more forward of the hips. And consider balancing those shoulders over the hips. You can even take a little look down if you'd like and the hip bones right at the side of you being in line with the shoulder bones. Rolling the shoulders back and down a little and letting the shoulders settle away from the ears. And then from there, from that deep rootedness in the bottom half of our body, there's a lifting through the spine so we get just a little taller, a little more effort. Crown of the head reaches up and we turn Tuck the chin just a little so we lengthen the back of the neck as if somebody just hooked the lumpy bit at the back of your head, that occipital lobe, up. And then sitting it back in space just a little. So the head rests over the heart, the shoulders rest over the hips. Notice this posture as we broaden the collarbones, opening up through the heart space. Take a breath in when you're ready. And on an exhale, soften and make adjustments to that posture to make it sustainable for you. Let's take another couple of breaths to do that. Feel free to soften your gaze, lower your gaze or close your eyes as we start to connect to our body and notice what it is that we need in this moment. After a few breaths, allow the breath to settle. And then we'll 
do our check-in. As the breath settles into that soft rhythm of its own, notice how you're feeling in this moment. Not needing to push anything away or change anything, just notice how you're feeling. Notice what's on your mind. Concerns, worries, excitements. Again, not needing to figure anything out, just allow it to be as best as you can. With a curiosity, without judgment. And then drawing your awareness inside your body and noticing your body as a whole to start with, from that sensation underneath your feet to the support, all the way up to the crown of your head, reaching towards the ceiling. Notice if there's tightness, tension, discomfort that you can dissipate with any movements or adjustments. Notice if there are any locations in your body that are really grabbing your attention. Stay away from the story as to why as best as you can. For example, your shoulder might be very loud today and the story would be, oh, I did a lot of gardening yesterday and therefore that's the story. Try and stay with the sensation. Hmm, what is going on in my left shoulder? Where exactly do I feel it? And then take your awareness to a quieter part of your body. So if it's your shoulder, take it to the opposite shoulder. What sensation do I find there? Curiosity, no judgment. always knowing that you can adjust and adapt anything that we do today and always rest as a possibility. Less repetitions, smaller movements. And from there we start to notice the breath. Starting to breathe in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you, if it's not just an easy breath. And we start to slow the breath down. In your own way, we all breathe differently. It might feel that your breath feels a lot, very choppy today. Again, no judgment, just curiosity. And starting with that deeper, longer breath. And then we start to smooth the breath out as best as we can, all the way to the top of the breath and all the way down to the bottom of that exhale. Smoothing and steadying as best as we can. We're not looking for perfect. We're never looking for perfect. We're just doing our best with what feels right to you. With that deeper, steadier breath, in your own rhythm. Consider if there's any straining or forcing in the breath and let that go, even if it means the breath gets a little softer. So we have this sustainable breath that if we sat here and just focused on our breathing for the next hour, then it would feel manageable and fairly easy. This is the breath we come back to. This longer, smoother, softer breath in and out. If you want to, consider counting how long the inhale takes and counting how long the exhale takes. And there's no magic number, we all count and breathe differently. So just finding that gentle rhythm, whichever that rhythm is for you. And this can give us a really good way and a clear way to come back to this steady breath. So whatever your rhythm is, then remember how long your inhales take, how long your exhales take, that rhythm. So when I ask you to come back to it, you can um, slide back into it. 
as easily as simply recalling it. We're going to root down through our feet and seat and rise from there once again. Broaden through the collarbones and adjust this for yourself as we still have that same rhythm of breath. Let's take those hands down next to us. Easy joint, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers and thumbs, give them a little jellyfish shake. And then from there, hands come into soft or tighter fists and we're circling through the wrists. Allowing the breath to guide the movement. We're never holding the breath. If you find yourself holding the breath, then um, come back to that longer, steadier breath, the same count. And then we'll take that, the circles around in the opposite directions. Notice the ease, not just the challenging, tighter places. Mm -hmm. And then we'll release, allowing those fingers to wiggle a little bit so we release tension. And then from there, with both arms dangling down, we're going to draw both shoulders up towards the ears, down and round, whichever direction you're going in. You might notice that one side is quite different from another. Be curious, no judgment, no stories. And we ease the movement. We smooth it out just like we smoothed the breath. Same count of breath, in and out. Allow one circle to one cycle of breath. You don't have to match me or anybody else. This is your breath, your rhythm. The end of the next exhale, we'll pause and then take that round in the opposite direction. And you'll probably notice you find, feel this in very different places of your body. Again, no story, just be curious. Where is it that the sensations are in your body in this direction? What do you notice? Keep the breath, that same count in and out. If it's feeling like it's coming out of the rhythm, then regulate the breath. Let's take another couple here. You can always rest. And then on the last exhale, we'll keep those arms dangling down, elbows bent if you have arms on your chair, and allowing the shoulders to settle. Imagine sitting back into an imaginary wall, so the back of your pelvis, shoulder blades, and the back of your skull resting on that wall. This is the inhale. On the exhale, let's take the right ear towards the right shoulder, inhaling up. Exhaling over to the other side, same count of breath. If this feels like a tremendous amount of sensation in your neck, please take your hands back to support and that will ease the sensation. Make sure there's a length in the back of the neck so your chin tucked slightly. Going from side to side, never pushing, easing into the movement. Breath is steady. And the next time we draw the right shoulder, or right ear towards the right shoulder, option to stay. Keeping that left shoulder drawn back now, option to glance down and over that right shoulder. And breathe, breathe into the sensation of the left side of the neck. And the option here is to circle that left shoulder round in one direction. And then we'll pause and take those circles in the opposite direction as we glance down towards the floor over the right shoulder. Mm -hmm. After the next exhale, we'll come back to stillness, drawing the collarbones wide. And then from here, just circle the chin in intuitive movements here, easing motion into the left side of the neck. And whatever circles you're going, let's take that in the opposite direction. Nice and slow, breath is the same count. Then at the end of that exhale, we'll draw the chin and the head back up to center. Hands dangling once more, if they weren't already, this is the inhale. Let's take the ears from side to side, nice and slow. 
the smoothness of the breath, the smoothness of the movement. Next time the left ear comes to the left shoulder, we'll stay there. If this is very tight through the right side of the shoulder, please ground the right hand on the arm of your chair or the top of your leg. Draw the right shoulder back in space. And then the option is to slide the chin down as if you were glancing over the left shoulder to the earth. Spine is neutral, so we're not leaning off towards the left. Great place to be here. And then circling that right shoulder one direction. Again, we're just moving things to the right side of the neck there. Let's pause and take that the opposite direction. If you feel like this is a lot of strain, do a whole lot less. end of that exhale let's come back to stillness collarbones are wide and then in tiny tiny circles in one direction with the chin again noticing the right side of the neck make adjustments the exhale will pause and take those tiny circles or movements around in the other direction easing into any tightness, tension. And then we'll come back through center. Next inhale, we'll draw the head up towards each other. And then from here, sweeping the fingers up towards the shoulders on the inhale, exhale, pushing down, moving from the elbows here, inhaling up and exhaling down option to stay there or from the shoulders sweeping the arms up overhead and exhale taking the hands down i apologize for the construction that's going on let's take those fingertips up any height exhaling down nicely done next time those left fingertips are going to stay down holding on to the side of the chair if you like right fingertips come up and over and then we're going to go to the left side those right fingertips are going to stay down or supporting you on your chair as we go from side to side left fingers up and now the right arm mm -hmm. and the hands can support you on the chair as the shoulders come up and over, finding those length, the, that length through the hips, the waist, the ribs, up through those armpits, up through the arms. Mm -hmm. Let's take one more wherever you are. And then we're coming all the way back up through center. Any intuitive movement to release tension, please go ahead. Hands resting back on the top of the legs or the arms of the chair, and we're rooting to rise, steadying the breath. Coming down through the spine here. On the inhale, we draw the shoulder blades back towards each other, open the heart as the hands slide up the legs towards the pelvis. We're arching the back here. On the exhale, push the fingertips away, push the back of the ribs in towards the back of the chair. And if you're sitting into the back of the chair, you might want to slide forward a little as long as you feel stable to give yourself a little bit more room to get that full flexion and extension of the spine. If you want to add on into the cervical spine, lift the chin on the inhale, but lengthen through the back of the neck so it's not just compression there. On the exhale, tucking the chin down any amount towards the chest. You can keep the gaze inwards with closed eyes or soft gaze, lowered gaze. On the inhale, you can send the tailbone out behind you as you imagine dragging the heels of your feet back towards the chair. On the exhale, push down into the support underneath the feet as you round, tucking the tailbone on that exhale. You can stay here. If you want to add the arms, we're going to go diagonal arms. So right arm up, I'm mirroring you, of course. Left arm down and back. That's the inhale. Exhale, take the fingertips towards each other as you round. 
and then opposite direction, left high, right low. And so the movement in the arms is an exaggeration of the spine. Mm -hmm. Inhaling and exhaling. And then when you're ready, we'll take one more either side. You can always rest. Keep the breath the same count, steadying and regulating the breath. And then we're gonna come all the way back through center. Rolling the shoulders, any intuitive movement that feels really good for you. Take a breath in. Exhale, let it settle. And come back to the breath. The same rhythm of breath. Coming in to our twist here. And let's take the feet over towards the right side. And for this, depending on the length of your chair and the length of your balance, you may want to sit forward on the chair so the feet are really grounded. So we've got the feet over towards the right. I'm of course mirroring the rooting to rise, head over heart, shoulders over the hips, and we're still steadying the breath. Coming into a gentle twist. So from here, that left hand can come to the right leg. Right hand can come to the back of the chair, depending on what kind of chair you have. I have space in between here, or the top of that chair. And that, depending on the rotation that you have, that left hand can also come to the back of the chair. You're going to root to rise. On the exhale, twisting towards the back of the chair and snuggling that left hip back by rooting into the left foot. If that back shoulder is coming way up by the ears, see so if you can drop it back down by adjusting the right arm. Every inhale, we lengthen. Every exhale, twisting a little softer or deeper. Focus on the breath. And for the last three breaths, as you deepen or soften into that twist, option if you're gripping with your hands to hover the hand. So we really use the torso to hold us in place here. You can maybe glance over that right shoulder back behind you if that feels good. Keep the breath flowing more or less. One more breath, same count of breath here. Staying for that exhale. And then we release and come back through center. From here, that right hand is going to come to the back of the chair, and then we're going to slide our left sitting bone off the chair. So I've only got the right side of my pelvis on the chair. If this does not feel stable for you, then this is not for you. That right hand is supporting you, any which way feels comfortable. And once we're here, making sure that that left hip hasn't dropped down or hiked up, that it's pretty much level with the right side of the pelvis. This is a lot for um, your body to handle, holding itself in place while not having that support. If this feels enough, then you're staying here. Again, if you do not feel stable, come back onto the chair fully. And um, this is a video so you can fast forward to the other side. Option to take the left knee down. Toes are tucked here. If the toes tucked are not comfortable for you, you can come to the top of the foot, but make, make sure that, um, that the top of the foot is um, comfortable for you. And we're opening up through the hip flexor here. The further forward that knee is, the easier it is for us in the hip flexor. We spend most of our time in a seated position, so the hip flexors get very tight. So we're opening them up here. Noticing 
If as your knee comes back, you're sliding forward. We want the shoulders over the hips, making sure this feels sustainable for you. Getting through the hip flexors down into the quad. Push down through both feet evenly and root to rise. Great place to be right here. Hand can rest on your hip, rolling the shoulders back and down and we're breathing. This feels like it's taking over 50% of your energy. Please do a little less. Adjust so you're not, um, you're not overdoing it. This should feel sustainable. Option if you want to add on. The left arm comes out, bending from the elbow. We've already done this. Inhaling fingers up towards the shoulder, exhaling down, or moving from the shoulder. The arm is an expression of the breath. So the inhale, we lift. The exhale, it comes down. Option to use that right hand for support if you wish to come up and over to the back of the chair, sweeping that left arm. Finding that length from that left knee all the way up through the side body. Working with your breath. Let's take another three here. You can always rest. Notice where you're feeling it. Make adjustments where you can. Steady the breath to the same count. Last one here. And then we'll sweep that left arm back, catching the back of our thigh and drawing the left leg forward. Still let um, the left sit bones off the chair. And then after another breath, we'll slide back onto the chair. Take a breath in. Exhale it out nice and slow. Beautifully done. And then from here, we're coming back through center. Take a breath. Exhale it out. And then we're coming to the other side. So sweeping ourselves around to the left side. And again, maybe you want to come forward on the chair, making sure you feel grounded and rooted here as we come into a twist. Shoulders over hips, head over heart. Making adjustments as you root to rise, steadying the breath. From here, I'm gonna take that right hand towards the left leg. Left hand comes to the back of the chair or um, at the back of the um, seat. Making sure that that left shoulder is not up by your ear. Option to take that right hand to the back of the chair too, but then draw the right hip back by pushing into the right foot. Wherever you are, make any adjustments. We inhale, we lengthen, we exhale, twisting towards the back of the chair. Inhaling, we come out a little, exhaling, twisting. Same count of breath. If you need to make any adjustments, please do. The pelvis is neutral here. You can glance over that left shoulder. Option to twist and stay for three breaths here. If you're gripping with your hands, hovering the hands to allow the muscles to hold you here without putting any resistance in the arms. So we're really strengthening through the torso. Let's take one last breath here. And then we release and come back through center. Steady and regulating the breath. From here, that left hand comes to the back of the chair or the back of the seat, depending on the chair that you have. And we're sliding the right side of our seat off the chair. If this does not feel sustainable and stable for you, then this is not for you, sitting back onto the chair. Making sure that right hip neither drops nor hikes up so it's in balance with the left hip. And this could be a great place to stay if this is taking a lot of your energy. Make sure that the breath 
is regulated and steady that same count. And if you need a rest, please take it. Option to stay here. Option to draw the right knee down. Toes tucked or untucked, make sure you feel comfortable here. And the knee is in line to the hips. So it's not winging out towards the side. We really want the hip squared towards forward. The further forward that knee is, the easier it's going to be. Keeping the shoulders over the hips, the head over the heart. Slide that leg back as much as it feels that you can stay here sustainably. Getting the opening through the hip flexors and through the quad. Knitting the front ribs in, making sure we're not coming forward to allow that leg to go back more. So it's that subtlety in the body of understanding when it is we're compensating for different things. So if we take the leg back, notice how my torso comes forward because I have to accommodate for that. Hands can be on the hips, great place to stay right here. And the breath is steady. Option to drop that right palm out from the elbow, inhaling fingertips up towards the shoulder, exhaling down, stay there, or moving from the shoulder. And that left hand is supporting you on the back of the chair. If you wish to take those right fingertips up and over, finding that length in the side of the body. Keep the breath at same steady rhythm. Collarbones are broad here. Head over heart, shoulders over hips. And we'll take another three here. If you need to rest or do less repetitions, please do. Keep that breath guiding you. Notice if you need to make any adjustments. More or less, one more, unless you're resting. And when you're ready, the right hand comes back, reaches the right thigh, and we're drawing ourselves forward. Again, that right sitting bone off the chair for a breath. And then we're coming all the way back. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out, feel that support underneath you and then we come forward. Making any adjustments that you need to. Beautiful breath in. Exhale it out, nice and slow, nice and steady. Beautifully done. We're gonna take our feet a little bit wider to get that external rotation. Ankles more or less under the knees so we don't have our ankles in or our feet out. That way we really feel a little more stable. The further back on your chair you come, the more support you have, so you decide for yourself what feels right for you. Rooting down to rise. Come back to that steadiness of breath. Same count that you had at the beginning. Unless that shifted and changed, allow it to feel regulated and controlled. From here, fingertips resting on the inside of the thighs. This is the inhale. And we're rotating round through the back ribs, rolling through the spine, hula hooping through the lower ribs. This can be a big or a small movement. Go inside if you feel stable enough, close your eyes or soften or lower your gaze and allow the body to move intuitively in a circle. Mm -hmm. Shoulders, head, neck, pelvis, feet, arms can get involved. This can be as big or as small a movement as feels good. There's no right or wrong way to be here. It is a controlled movement. Circling with the breath. And let's take another two here. And at the end of that exhale, we'll pause 
and take those circles around in the opposite direction. We've got every movement of the spine. You've got length through the side. We've got the extension and flexion. You can get your neck involved, get that cervical spine involved. Anything that feels intuitive here, what we're looking for is flow, smooth and steady. Mm -hmm. Make it smaller if that feels better for you. Bigger is not better here. And then at the end of one of your next exhales, we'll come all the way back through center. Hands still resting on the thighs, fingertips to the inside, rooting to rise. Regulate the breath if it, came dis if it became disrupted. Sliding back onto your chair if you want a little bit more support as we're coming forward and into a twist. So this is the inhale. On the exhale, I'm going to draw that right shoulder forward and down. Left shoulder comes back as we look to the left, maybe over that left shoulder. Inhaling, right shoulder comes back. Pushing the right hand against the right thigh and inhaling, coming up. So we're getting into the back of the right side of the body here, keeping the pelvis rooted down so we're not lifting the right hip. Noticing where you feel this could be in lots of different places. Keep the breath steady and smooth for another two. Last one here. And then we're going to the other side as we come up, adjust yourself as you need to. Left shoulder forward and down as we look to the right or back over that right shoulder. Keep the left hip pressed down, pushing that left hand against the left thigh to gain that tension in the back body and that length. Let's do another two on this side. Keep the breath steady and regulated. Coming up through center, rooting to rise, steady the breath. And we'll take that external rotation back through center, washing the knees side to side, releasing the outer and inner hips. And then coming back through center, take a big breath in when you're ready. Exhale it out, soften and release tension. Another couple of breaths like that. And if there's intuitive movement that awakens your body to release tension, please go ahead. Coming back to a place of that neutral Seat, head over heart, shoulders over hips, and then adjusting it for you. Come back to the same count of breath. And then when you're ready, we'll come down to the earth and I will meet you there. Gather everything you need for the rest of your practice and for relaxation, and I'll see you down on the floor. Hello, here we are down on the floor gathering everything around you that you need and we come down on our backs, knees to the sky, feet to the floor, settling yourself in, getting the shoulders grounded. If your throat feels tight here, consider putting a folded firm blanket, a pillow or um, a folded towel underneath your head for support. Sometimes raising the head takes any pressure off the neck and the throat. And if a good indication of that is if your chin is way higher than your forehead, then you might need some support underneath there. Picking up the hips, shifting the pelvis a little closer towards your heels as you replace it. Then we get that length through the spine. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out and let the body sink down into the support underneath you. And we'll take another few breaths just like that. Mm. 
Regulate the breath, come back to those steady counts of breath. And maybe your breath has changed a little, but make sure that it's in control. You're steadying, you can count the inhale and the exhale. And if you feel tired and depleted and it's time to rest, please do that. Otherwise, feet are at a comfortable distance apart for you. And we're going to pick up that right knee and curl it in towards your belly. Take hold of the right thigh underneath the knee pit or in front of the shin, depending on the length of your arms. And then we'll circle that ankle. This is always a great place to start. Nice and slow movements. Notice the ease in that movement, not just the challenging places or the snap, crackle, and pops. And let's pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Smooth and steady does it. Building stability, awareness, strength, and that range of motion. And then we flex the ankle. Spread through the toes and the soles of the feet, just like we did at the beginning of class. And then from here, that left arm can come down by your hip or it can um, come at a cactus or a T, grounding the left shoulder. And you can even slide that shoulder blade slightly underneath you. From here, that right knee is gonna come up towards the ceiling. You can drop that right heel down to start with by your seat. Right palm nice and flat against the right thigh, closer towards your knee. So your fingertips are kind of reaching towards that knee, but it's a flat palm. Roll the right shoulder back and down. Again, the shoulder blade draws in. And then we're gonna to start to build pressure here. Draw the belly button down towards the earth and with that left foot pressed down into the earth, that can help. And then adding thigh into hand, hand into the flat palm, add about 10 or 15%. Keep the breath regulated. So we're adding pressure here, building strength and stability. Option to keep the heel down or lift it up to knee height. And that's going to, of course, increase the pressure as we um, add the weight of the leg as we extend the leg out. Keep the breath going, we've got three breaths here. Add only as much pressure as you can keep the belly button drawn down and the breath steady. And then when you're ready, at the end of that last exhale, release the pressure gently. And that right knee draws in, give it a little hug, and then right foot to the floor. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. And then we draw the left leg in, give it a little hug. And we'll circle through the ankle, nice and slow stretching through the soles of the feet. We part the, part the toes, squeeze the toes together in the different places. And then pause and take that round in the opposite direction, noticing how that feels for you. Mm -hmm. And then the next time those toes come up towards your shin, we'll keep it there, nice gentle flex in that ankle. And then from here, I'm gonna draw the knee up towards the ceiling. Keep that heel down by the seat. Belly button draws down to the earth and you can use that right foot into the ground to help that happen. Flat palm of the left hand towards that left thigh. We're breathing, the breath is regulated and then we're building up pressure. Thigh comes into the palm, palm pushes back rolling that left shoulder down and away so it's not coming up by our ear and we're just building strength there. Only as much as the breath is regulated. Option to keep that heel down, option to lift it up towards knee height, no more. And here we are, we've got three breaths here, only as much pressure as the breath can stay steady and consistent. Keep that belly button drawn down to the earth. There's a lot going on here. We've got one more breath, staying for that exhale. 
and then we release the pressure slowly when you're ready. Give that knee a little hug, and we take the left leg down. Just wash those knees side to side a little. If that was a lot, you're going to do the same thing. One leg, and then the other leg. Otherwise, push down towards your feet and just tuck that belly down towards the earth a little. Keeping the breath steady and regulated. Your back body is really supported here and pressing, imprinting into the mat. From here, again, if you're doing one leg, you're gonna do the right leg for six breaths, you're gonna do the left leg for six breaths. You can go ahead, otherwise, you're gonna bring both knees up. From here, the heels can be down. Knees are um, up towards the ceiling, You've got both flats of the palm against those legs. Draw the belly button down. If you're arching the back, draw the knees a little closer in towards the chest. And palms press into the thighs, thighs press back. Option to stay here with the heels down or the heels can come up knee height. Belly button draws in. And we've got some breaths here. Only increase the pressure, palms into thighs, thighs into palms, as much as the breath can handle. Let's take another five breaths here. Maybe increasing that pressure, maybe backing off. Maybe the knees draw a millimeter further away, as long as the back doesn't arch. And let's take another couple of breaths. Only as much pressure as feels good for you. We've got one more breath, more or less. And on that exhale, release that pressure. Draw the knees in. Give yourself a little hug and rock and roll those knees from side to side. Massaging the lower back. And taking the feet all the way down. Big breath in. Exhale it out, and as you exhale, feel really connected and grounded here. And then from there, we're gonna take the hands down towards the hips, nice and wide, wide enough that the shoulder blades can roll one um, and then another underneath you so the heart is a little more open. Root down through both feet nice and evenly. Toes are soft here, so the pressure is towards your heels and the balls of the feet evenly left and right. On the inhale, hover the hips. And on the exhale, we're gonna take those hips all the way down. This is not about height here, we want the control. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And we're just tapping down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Now if you need to take a break and take the hips all the way down and release the pressure in the torso, please do at any time. Otherwise, option to take the hips a little higher. Exhaling, once again, tapping down. Not all the way down, but we're just tapping a little bit of the pressure. Inhaling and exhaling. Now notice if you're pushing more into one foot than the other. Notice if your toes are gripping. See if you can lighten them and balance out the pressure. Option to keep pulsing, option to lift the hips and stay. Keep that steady breath, the same count in and out. It does not matter how high the hips are here, but what we want is sustainability. Breath is steady, the knees are drawing wide or towards each other. Make sure they're a comfortable hip distance apart, as if you had a block in between your upper legs. Let's take another full breath in here. And whenever you're ready on the exhale, we'll take the hips all the way down. Big breath in. Exhale, relieve tension. And then we're drawing the knees in towards our chest, giving ourselves a little hug, rounding through the back. And again, rocking from side to side here a little bit, or circles. Hands coming to either knee. We're going to draw the knees down and in towards the belly, out and away, and the toes can touch here if you like, and circles. So in, out, away, and together. 
If that feels good to you here, you can release, relief those um, toes away from each other, make it more intuitive. Some people feel it's better if you take those circles in the opposite direction to each other. So one leg, one direction, the other leg, the opposite direction. Wherever you're going, we'll pause and go around in the opposite direction, whether it's both knees at the same circling or opposite, kind of like an egg beater. Inhaling and exhaling, getting that range of motion, the fluidity in the hips, building up that lubrication, of course. And then when you're ready, we'll bring those knees back in towards each other, hands on the knees, and we'll take the knees wide towards the armpits, opening up through the groin here, shoulders root down towards the earth. Great place to be. We've got modified happy baby here, opening through the groin. Op option to stay here, if this feels really good to you. Option to send the feet up towards the sky. Nice bend in those knees, your hands can come to the thighs, outer thighs, outer shins, outer ankles, or reaching for those outer feet, depending on the length of your arms. And it's an upside down squat here, pushing down the lower back into the earth, maybe even the tailbone, crown of the head reaching up. So we tuck the chin slightly so the back of the neck is long. And here we are. You can stay in stillness and take some movement, anything that feels good. When you're ready, we'll draw the heels down and take the feet down to the earth nice and wide towards the edges of your mat. Arms are in a cactus or a T. From here, washing the knees side to side nice and gently. Any SI joint issues, you're keeping the back of the pelvis on the earth. Option to take the knees all the way to one side as we open up to the other side. Opposite hip lifts. You can push that top knee away from you. Again, we're getting into the hip flexor through the quad, just like we did when we were in our lunge on the chair. And then we'll come up and over to the other side if you were in stillness. Same thing here. Top leg pushes to, um, away from you opening up through the side of the body, the hip flexors, the quads. And then we'll draw ourselves back up through center. Ankles can stay wide, knees knocking towards each other. This is called constructive rest. One of the best shapes, especially for any lower back issues. If this feels really good to you here, then stay. If you want a different shape for relaxation, go ahead. Taking those legs long, you can take a bolster or support underneath the back of the thighs or the knees. This is your shape for relaxation. So if there's another shape, maybe on your side, on your belly, anything at all that feels really good to you here, and as you settle in, take the time for extra blankets, pillows, supporting your body in a way that feels really best for you. And as you settle down and settle in, start to take a few of those steady, regulated breaths. Maybe a little slower and deeper in, Exhale, let the breath go. And then when you're ready, letting the inhales take care of themselves, but notice that exhale count and add one extra count to that. So if your exhale was a three, it'll now be a four. So we lengthen that exhale. We lengthen the exhale, we focus and allow the central nervous system to start to slow. And we come out of the stress response, any amount of stress, 
and we with that longer exhale breath we start to activate the parasympathetic nervous system the relaxation response couple of breaths with that longer exhale and then when you're ready take a big breath in exhale like a sigh and we let the breath go entirely, letting it come back to its own natural, steady rhythm. No more control over the breath at all. The breath soft and gentle as we let the body deepen into the support underneath us. Allowing tension, tightness to start to ease down and away from our bodies. Allowing the bones to get heavier as if gravity just got a little stronger. Relaxing the joints. Relaxing your jaw, parting the back teeth, softening through the shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers and thumbs, through the spine. Hips, knees, ankles, and all the way through the feet to the tip of the toes. Allowing the thoughts to recede as you imagine an old radio dial that you could just tune the thoughts out as if they were like a radio and find the static in between the stations, even if it's just for a moment until another thought or distraction comes up. Notice it with a curiosity without judgment and then mentally turn that dial in your awareness. To tune the thought away. That curiosity, huh, I'm thinking about that thing. And I tune it out. Hmm. I'm thinking about this thing. And I'm tuning it out. Oh, that thought came back. And I'm tuning it out. We do it a hundred times a minute. And we find that static, those moments of pause between the thoughts. Noticing. As you allow the muscles of your body to loosen, soften, and let go. Noticing just how supported you are here. Enjoying that sensation of being fully supported. There's nothing you need to do here. There's nothing to figure out. We're learning simply to be. Allowing yourself to rest in that 
tranquility that you found, even if it's 1% more softness than you had right at the beginning of relaxation. Celebrate that 1%. Feeling the support underneath your body, noticing your full body from the tip of your toes to the crown of your head and fingertips. Notice the breath in the body and the body moving with the breath, that harmonious movement and dance. Stay as you are if you wish to stay, if you wish to finish your practice. Take a little deeper breath in. Exhale like a soft sigh. Take as many breaths as you need to start to feel like you're drawing energy into your body. Allow that energy to awaken your fingers and toes, wrists and ankles, maybe gliding the head side to side. If any movement comes to you, maybe stretching wide, curling in, giving yourself a hug, depending on the shape you're in, you might want to wash the knees from side to side or come to rest. Take moments along the way of coming to a place you want to finish your practice. And that may be staying exactly where you are. There's no wrong way to do this. Finding, choosing a shape that feels right for you today. And wherever that may be, settling down and settling into that support. Finding the earth underneath you and allowing your body to be held. Offering your heart into a soft opening if any gesture comes to your hands, please take it for finishing up today. When you're ready, take a breath in on the exhale. As you soften the gaze or close the eyes, draw the chin down towards your beautiful heart. And thank yourself sincerely for being here today, for taking the time, for moving your body for building your awareness, for breath. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you.